All right, so this is another ROV company that I did not know about, and uh, this is uh, this is what Eduardo, Eduardo right? Eduardo, Eduardo. Yeah. And uh, so, how is your ROVs different than, say, the Blue Robotics uh, Blue RV2 or the Trident? Yeah, definitely. Um, so, we're kind of uh, trying to be, I would say, right in the middle of both, uh, in the sense that we're targeting commercial use cases, but we're wanting to be as user friendly as a Trident. We right. want to be, uh, you know, make sure that the user gets the job done with a smile on their face. Okay. Right? <laughs> um, so, what we've done is. Um, in order to meet that commercial requirement, we've uh, added the five thrusters. So the robot is fully vectored. Um, the, the shape itself is circular. So we've done that so to allow it to handle cross currents. So it's not enough that you have vector thrusters, but you need to have um, an efficient hydrodynamic shape to be able to uh, you know, move efficiently in the water. Right. Um, we've also added these exchangeable battery packs and these are uh, airplane safe, so you can take these on an airplane. And okay. They're very easy to remove. So, so you pull the lock, you pull this back, and it pops out. Um, so you can actually go on an airplane, have this on, on you know, store it in, and you can have an extra pack with you on board. Awesome. And then, uh, so what's the uh, what's the MSRP on this or cost? Uh, so, uh, Inspector 3 right now is up for pre-order at $8,000. Uh, okay. Inspector 2 is available in the market and it's at uh, 7000 approximately. Awesome. Um, and like one of the key things that we're doing since we're targeting this like commercial uh, uh, space is we really want the owner to own the vehicle, not, on, not just on the outside, but fully. They, they need to be able to own it on the inside too because most people using these robots are far away, you know, offshore. So they need to be able to repair it quickly. So what we've done is, you know, we're, you can actually quickly access the electronics. And if you need to replace a thruster, if that were to be uh, damaged for whatever reason, you know, you can do it with a connector and a bolt. Same thing with the camera. It's two nuts. The lights get very easily removed. Um, and this is a Raspberry Pi right here? Yeah, that's a Raspberry awesome. Pi. And that does your video uh, interface between... ROV and, your, and, uh, and an iPad. Yeah. Okay, and then what uh, what top side software are you using? Is it, is it uh, proprietary to? Yeah, we do it okay. on our own iOS app. Okay. And, yeah. And same thing. If you need to replace a, a propeller, for example, um, you know, you can just pop it out very quickly. Um, oh, can you do that one more time? That's awesome. So is there, there's there's not a clip on it. It's just yeah, magnetically the, the, held no, in the, place. There is a clip, but it's still like accessible from the outside. Okay. So you don't need to remove the thruster. So it's like you can slide it out very okay. quickly. If it ate a rock or something, exactly, it crack yeah. the thruster. So it's it's one of the key. Okay, and then what kind of sensors do you have on this? Yeah, I see you have a camera, and then obviously the LED lights, is, and then future yeah, right like now, adaptation. I mean, the, the, the robot comes uh, fully like with uh, all the IMU temperature, internal temperature. Uh, we actually added a pressure, internal continuous pressure monitor. So what that does is, so since we're allowing people to own the vehicle on the inside too, uh, what we wanted was to uh, also allow them to be able to verify that the the robot itself was watertight. Okay. Or, or, um, so on the back side of this, uh, we added a a valve. So it, in that valve, you'll be able to uh, pull a vacuum, and the robot will continuously monitor that vacuum to make sure that it's air, you know airtight. Oh, great. Okay. Um, so that's another sensor that we added. Um, the board itself is designed already with an added uh, motor driver, so for the gripper that we're releasing. So that's built in, and we also have a single echo sounder uh, electronics also built in, and that's also going to be released a little bit later. Uh, awesome. Yeah. And, and then uh, where can we find like information, website or whatever? Is it? Yeah, it's at cdronepro.com.